morning. I'm Taylor Dunn. I'm Alex here. And welcome to the HGSS News. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. PTO will be meeting on April 10th at HCSS. Join us! Tomorrow, March 29th, is the second practice exam for the AP English class from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. The deadline for ordering a 2013-2014 HCSS yearbook is on May 1st. See Ms. Forney for details. On Friday, April 4th, is the Middle School Social Beach Bash in the HCSS gym from 6.30 to 9 p.m. The cost is $5 by April 2nd and $6 after, and the cost includes pizza and a drink. So make sure you turn in your dress code agreements and your money to Ms. M. If you owe a lunch bill, you will not be able to participate in any after-school activities. On April 2nd, the Smile Massachusetts Mobile Dentist will be at HCSS. Now over to Tyron and Kayla. Thanks, Alex. I'm Tyron Benton, and I'm here with my colleague, Kayla Joss. And this week, I interview Mr. Dider about MCAS and SAT prep. Hi, today I'm here with Mr. Dider, and we're going to talk about MCAS and SAT. What's the importance of taking the MCAS? Uh, first of all, MCAS is one of our graduation requirements. And second, in terms of college uh, applications, MCAS has a huge amount of impact on the college admission. In Massachusetts, we have a scholarship for MCAS. If you are at the top 25% of your class, you can get that scholarship. It's called John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. And also, um, the kids that are taking SAT this year, do you have any methods of how they should practice? I always advise my students to put extra time for SAT outside of school. That's the only way to get prepared for SAT. Mm -hmm. I mean, in school, students get knowledge, learn about the curriculum, but SAT is a tricky test. Like online resources, we have like our teachers that can give you like uh, resources. So thank you, Mr. Dader. Thank you too. And um, back over to you, Tyron. Thanks and good job, Caleb. Now to other news. MCAS has served as well, but it's time for an upgrade. Hamden Charter School of Science will be participating in a new testing program called PARC. PARC, P-A-R-C-C, -C, stands for Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers. HESS has been selected this spring to take part of the Commonwealth's two-year trial of this new test. In my opinion, I think it's really cool that Massachusetts is taking a new step with standardized testing. If you want to express your opinions on the test, email us at hesssbroadcast at hamdencharter.org. Now back over to Taylor. Thanks, Tyron. And now over to Willie with his new segment, Ask Willie. Hi, my name is Willie from the Ask Willie segment of the HCSS broadcast. And today I have a couple questions submitted via email. First question, who is Willie? Obviously, Willie is the most handsomest person you will ever meet in this entire universe. But anyways, I'm really like a nice person. I'm probably the nicest person you'll ever meet. And I'm so open to like everything. I'll talk to anybody and I'm just a social butterfly. Question number two. Hi Willie Kent, how well do you feel HCSS has prepared you for the future? Has our school changed your plans for the future in any way? I feel like I feel like HCSS has um prepared me for the future because I really have that uh, a good discipline foundation. You know, now that we have like all these different sets of uh, discipline points and stuff, it kinda somewhat instills in me how to behave, how to like stay on top of things. And last but not least, dear Willie. We had a really rainy practice last week and water got into my shoes and socks and was sloshing in between my toes. <laughs> I took my shoes off and socks off and left them there. My feet smelled really bad. The other day I found my socks and they were extremely crusty and smelly. Do you have any tips as to how I can prevent my feet from smelling after practice and how I can uncrust my socks? You must know since Willie knows best. Love, Anonymous, Winky Bays. My answer to that is when you wash them, overdose on the laundry detergent. Like it's gonna make them smell so good. And when you dry them, try putting multiple lint cloths in there. A really good tip too is to put newspapers in your uh, shoes because that absorbs the water. And you can also put baby powder in them because it gets rid of the smell. So that the next time you smell, or the next time you put your shoes on, they won't smell so bad. And please don't forget to shower every day because nobody. And I do mean nobody wants to smell that in the hallway. So that's it for today. And if your questions weren't answered today, then they'll most likely be answered next week on the next broadcast. And always remember, Willie knows best. And in that news, I'm Alex here.
I'm Taylor Dunn, and have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching. Today is March Madness Day at 8. What? That was college day, so. <laughs> that wasn't fair, come on. That doesn't count. Don't count that one. Today is March Madness Day. If you haven't already paid your $2, make sure to pay them to the cafeteria. You can't pay the. <laughs> ah! It's like eight. Okay.